Parathyroid disorders involve abnormal levels of parathyroid hormone, called PTH, that plays a critical role in regulating serum calcium levels affecting musculoskeletal, nervous, and cardiac systems. Hypoparathyroidism is typically caused by accidental removal or damage to the parathyroid glands during thyroid or head and neck surgeries, resulting in hypocalcemia. Common symptoms include muscle cramps, paresthesias, and dysrhythmias. Classic symptoms of hypocalcemia are chuvastic sign, an involuntary twitching of facial muscles when the facial nerve is tapped, and Trousseau's sign, a hand spasm caused by inflating a blood pressure cuff to a level above systolic pressure for three minutes. Severe hypocalcemia can cause laryngospasm, tetany, and seizures. Hypoparathyroidism is treated with calcium supplements and vitamin D, also called calcitriol. Because of the inverse relationship of calcium and phosphate, phosphate binders may be required if phosphorus levels are elevated. Routine monitoring of calcium, phosphorus, and renal function is crucial. There is also a risk of developing kidney stones, so calcium must be maintained at a low normal range. Conversely, hyperparathyroidism is characterized by excessive PTH levels resulting in hypercalcemia. It is typically caused by a parathyroid tumor. Symptoms of hypercalcemia are nonspecific and can include nausea, vomiting, increased thirst and urination, constipation, dysrhythmias, bone pain, fatigue, muscle pain, kidney stones, depression, and memory loss. Hyperparathyroidism is usually detected during routine lab tests that show elevated calcium levels. Treatment involves surgical removal of the pituitary tumor. Management may also involve IV fluids, calcium chelators, and diuretics like furosemide to reduce calcium levels. Post-surgical complications can include hematoma, airway obstruction, and potential damage to the laryngeal nerves, with resultant hypocalcemia managed through calcium and vitamin D supplementation. Goals of interventions for both hypoparathyroidism and hyperparathyroidism include stable calcium levels and symptom relief, nurses monitor for potential complications, ensure rapid intervention, and adjust the care plan as needed.